Okay, I started a quick kind of portrait caricature of Edgar Allan Poe, and I just want to use this as a way to demonstrate shading in a mask, actually. But in order to get there, first I have to build up to this. So I got this far, you know, I decided to start recording it. So anyway, I did a rough sketch first on a different layer, and I, you know, I once the sketch was done, I put it down to, you know, just so I could barely see it. Then on top of that, I did a more refined sketch. And that's where I'm at now. And I do want to just keep this simple because I want to make this for an in-class exercise. I'm sketching with um, pressure sensitive brush. I'll show you where I'm using the soft round pressure size. And I'm not using black, I'm just kind of a, a gray. Anyway, I just kind of want to get some basic shapes down. Um, get a little ear thing there. Um, just got his collar. Now, I want this to be a relatively quick video. So that's the excuse I'm giving for not getting completely involved with this business down here. I don't know, it looks like a, a, a 19th century tie. And then there's a, well, a vest, or as they called it, a waistcoat. It's got like a big lapel on the vest. And then there's a giant lapel on the, is it a frock or a coat? I don't know. But I'm just going to just, I'm not going to spend a lot of time with this business. I'm just, that's enough of that. It is worth the effort if, if doing a portrait to get that right. But for this exercise, I'm not going to do that. Um, so that's a tighter sketch. I can live with that. You know, one thing, I, let me show you this trick as long as we're here doing this. When I'm doing a sketch, very often I'll do this image and or edit, transform, and flip horizontal. So let me see, does that look? Because sometimes I really get a sense whether the, um, whether things are off. And actually I'm gonna go the whole image flip horizontal. So, uh, it's a caricature, so it doesn't have to be exact. Let me turn off this. And maybe, uh, and then, you know, if I didn't like, the way things lined up, I can, you know, circle and just move a feature around. That's good enough. Um, so now image rotation. I got to hit return, return there. Image, come on, image rotation, flip horizontal. There we go. So now, um, now what am I going to do? Let me add some color. So on a new layer, I'm going to add some color. Um, let me get so some basic. I could keep this black and white. Do I want to keep this color black and white? Color black and white. Since we're working color, I do color, but kind of muted. So let me just go to, uh, that's kind of a decent flesh to start. Okay, so now, um, again, I color the big shape in with a pencil just to get the shape. I, I, get, I always, um, I can't emphasize this enough that you really need to get a clean selection. I'm just gonna go with some basic shapes. Gonna, gonna, okay, that's good. And sometimes if I'm gonna have a different area, I kind of go into the different color area because I'm gonna come, come over with that. Okay, so now I'm gonna get, um, Let me get a different color for his hair. And 
that's good. So it's mustache. You know what's interesting? This actual color I'm using is darker than the line work. So, 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 so. I'm just gonna pick the color, select it, go a little bit lighter, command U, lighten. That's good, because I wanna see the I want to see the line work through. And I'm going to pick up that color, touching it with my magic wand. Now I'm just so I want the hair to be a shape. Everything is a shape. And this is all leading up to something with a mask. Here's a shape, let me, uh, this coat's maybe, so I'm gonna stay the same value, kind of a grayish purple, that's good. And, just look over at this, what's that like? Yes, so we'll just make everything the same except a little bit of white for his collar. Okay. Now, you know, I think I want that face or facial color to be a little lighter. Select that, command U. He's kind of sickly, he can be kind of gray, lighten it, less saturation. Let this be muted, that's good. Um, now let me get some, you know, eyes. I don't like to use white for the eyes. Let's try this. No, it's not light enough. We want it lighter than that, certainly. Now let me go. And I'm just gonna touch a bucket into the colors I already put there. That's good. And I think he had blue eyes. Maybe his everything's kind of muted. Maybe I'll give him some like. It's a little bit of an accent, so interesting, interesting, interesting. Too intense though, but that's good. Okay, now let me, um, you know, I think I want to go to the, my line, my line drawing. I'm selected the line layer. I'm going to make it a little darker. Select L, you know, select L is too much, select U. I'll command you, make it a little darker. That's good. For this purpose, that's fine. Ideally, we want to have more um, subtle um, line work. I'm going to select the flesh tone. So this layer here is colors. This is lines. So go to colors. And, you know, I think I've had you shading on different layers, so we'll continue with that. Let me um, first select the flesh, new layer, and then I can add some, let me just get some shading in here. So while it's selected, um, I'm gonna put some shading. So let me get a, select that color. What's a good shadow color for that? So just go down. I don't want it to be darker than the mustache. Okay, so there. And 100%, do I really want to maybe build up slide? So a little too faint, 16% is not doing much. No, I'm not in multiply. 
Okay. So I really, I want to try to do this fast. So I'm not going to spend, oops, I wasn't even looking at there. Through there. Give me shading. A lot of this, um, having a good photograph with nice lighting to work from is very important. There. Um, you know, for this, for these purposes, that might be enough. I think I want to also go back to this layer, select his, the hair, and then go back to my, I should call this shading layer. And then I'm going to just make the hair a little, some shadows for the hair. Good enough. It just gives a little more mass. So now I'm going to go back. I'm going to, you know what also I think I need to do? I really hate having a white background. So select the background. Let me give that a, um, let's go muted. Uh, let's go muted green. What was that going to look like? This one, we're not working with them. Um, that's good. Hard brush, erase out the white. It's supposed to be pretty, that's good enough. So, so sometimes I don't like shading on top of on a white background. I might even make that a little lighter. That's good. So this is what I was building up to. I'm going to select the flesh. Let me I'm also let me save this as a as a copy at this point. Let me just do a big oh, do a copy. File save as as a copy so it's a jpeg. I'll post this. Okay, now I want to um select the flesh and I want to make a mask. Oh, I didn't want to do that. It's not good. I should have had the flesh on its own layer. So I'm not going to do it on another. I'm going to just um I'm going to make a mask first without anything selected. Select his flesh and then in the mask area. That order is important. I'm going to show you that again. Um, with, with nothing selected, I make a mask. And then, then after that, I go into the, um, the main. See, right now I'm in editing the mask layer. Right now I'm in the main layer. So I select his flesh. Now I'm going into the mask layer. And our mouth puts you in black. I'm going to go um, a soft airbrush and I'm going to mask out the lighting. So, so I'm doing the shading that's coming on his head there. See, the good thing about this is let's say I can even I can even um yeah. let's say I want to make the flesh darker. So I'm gonna go back to my main layer. I'm 
going to hit command U, make the flesh a little darker, but the shading stays there. We'll go back to the mask layer, do some more. I'm actually painting, I'll show you what the, if I can show you what this looks like. Um, oh, I forget, there's a way to show you. I can't think of this second, but it's like I'm painting black onto the mask layer and that becomes the shading. And the good thing about it, say like I erase, oh, I did, I did that too much. Say I don't like that area there. I just get my eraser and I can erase the shading. And what's really good about this method is it adds shading all around the surface, but then I'm gonna go back into the main layer and I can add some colors. So let me pick, um, I'm gonna pick up his flesh color and I wanna add some red to his cheeks. I wanna make sure I'm staying the same value. So I'm gonna get redder and you can see the two colors right here compared to each other. So I wanna be redder, that's not good. I don't want to be darker, I wanna be just redder. So that's kind of good there. And I'm gonna, it's the light. So the value structure is there. The shading, I mean, the erasing, you know, the highlights are already there. And his lip, let me make his lip. And men, when they, um, they very often have like, I want to pick up the flesh color again. You know, in the areas where they shave, it kind of sometimes looks kind of aqua, aqua gray. So it's five o'clock shadow. So it's a cool, most aqua gray. And again, I don't want it to be really darker than the flesh. I just want to be a different color. So that's kind of good. And let me get out of there. Um, maybe I'll kick that up a little bit. And then I'm going to go to his uh, under his eyes, give him a sickly blue. It's probably a little too much. If not, you know, I'd like to build up to that. Uh, where's my history? Let's go history. And, you know, um, eyelids are actually, even, you know, without makeup on, eyelids have a little more blood vessels on them, thin as skin. So they're like a little bit. Let's try that. It looks a little bit like he's wearing makeup, but let's get that a little more subtler. So you get your variations, your warms and your cools. Ears are generally a little redder. Um, and then go back to my regular layer again. Hit deselect, I want to select that background tone again. I don't like the background tone being so close to the five o'clock shadow color. Oh look, it's so close it's even picking up the same. I'm going to command D, let me make my tolerance like five. Now see if they're different. Yeah, now they're different. And now let me, um, you can kind of see it pops out a little bit more there. And then I would also, Make uh, his jacket color darker. So anyway, what I wanna do is provide you with an image of Poe just with the flat colors in. And I want you to experiment with this method of shading the face. And um, let me just get rid of this.
I'll explain it in person. Okay, so I want you to practice using the mask area to add highlights to you know, model the form.